If you want to set up your SSL at SiteGround so it doesn't say not secure in the upper left corner and you get the padlock instead, go back to your my.siteground.com login screen and we're going to click and log in. Now just hit websites and let's go to our site tools for the website we're working on which is sitegroundtuts.com. So we're going to site tools. And then we're going to click security and SSL manager and let's see what it says. So at the top it says this is crucial, very important. Install a new SSL. We have one domain name and please select. When we click select, if you see that let's encrypt or a different one is already working, it says current, then we don't need to choose the other ones. What we do need to do is just leave this screen untouched and go back to WordPress. Click to the dashboard and we're going to install the really simple SSL plugin. So plugins, add new. All right, really simple. There it is, so install now. And from my experience with SSLs, when there is one working for you in the background, getting this plugin will make it come to the front end and show itself off. So now click go ahead, activate SSL. We're gonna check out our site and see if it was that easy. And it was almost that easy. We saw a padlock for a second, but there's like a little bit of a little bit of work left. So let's go back to the dashboard and find the settings for this plugin. Gotta log in one more time. Just logged us out as a security precaution. And now it'll say we have a few things left to do. Usually it's an image that throws off the padlock on a certain page. So if any one of these images is insecure or doesn't live on the HTTPS link then that can throw off the padlock. So let's look at where it says mixed content fixer is active. Mixed content fixer is active but was not detective and follow these steps. Okay so we can follow this article and get the job done. I think there might be some premium plugins which will just fix your mixed content which we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of that mixed content but those might be premium and cost you money and with this method you're going to know how to do this all yourself and it'll feel good. So. Let's see what this article says quickly. Right click on your website, view source. We're gonna search for this guy. So we're gonna right click, view page source. We're gonna hit Command or Control F to find. And we're gonna look for data RSSSL equals one, which we have. So we have that filter, that's good. So now what we can do actually is just right click again. We're gonna inspect, and this is also information from this article, a really cool article on the really simple SSL website. Now we're going to click console. It's going to show us that there's two images that are blocking the whole padlock thing from going on. And they are this image and this image. So you can click and look at them if you want. So we have this one of like the sandwich, that's no good. And we have this one of the pasta. Those are both problem images. So how do we fix them? Well, let's see where they are. One of them's here and one of them is down here. Let's edit with Elementor. Okay, and they're a problem because they're not being served over SSL. So hackers might be able to, um, you know, cause problems for us. So let's go ahead and click on the first image in that little column settings style. Find the image and just to make life easy on us, we're just gonna remove it and pick a different one. Insert media. Now we're going to go to the next image of the pasta, section settings, style, and replace that image with a different food image and insert media, and update. And now let's open our site. All right, and we are secure, all good to go with the padlock. So connection is secure, great job fixing that. If you really do need to use those images that were problematic, I think you can just edit their URL and resave them in your uh, media section. Let me know how that goes, but in this case, it's just quicker to choose a different image because those don't affect our site's goals at all. All right, guys, we're gonna look around at a couple other pages. If those are not secure, you now know how to fix them, I hope. And uh, yeah, let me know any questions in the comments. Please smash the like button if you learned anything here. We're going to be covering a lot more with the new SiteGround client area, site tools, and everything new about SiteGround hosting. It's really awesome, really fun. So I hope you'll join along with it. All right, I'm Greg Narayan. Thanks for watching.